the U.S. Navy is making significant strides in strengthening its nuclear deterrence strategy with the development of the Nuclear Armed Sea Launched Cruise Missile, SLCMN. This program, outlined in a request for information, RFI issued on November 15, 2024, aims to create a modular, survivable and cost-effective cruise missile system capable of addressing evolving threats. Operational deployment is planned by fiscal year 2034, with prototype demonstrations expected within the next three years. The SLCMN is designed around the all-up round AUR concept, which includes a nuclear-capable cruise missile, an expendable booster, and a launch canister. This configuration allows for underwater launches from Virginia-class attack submarines, utilizing Virginia payload tubes, VPT, or Virginia payload modules, VPM. By leveraging existing technologies and a modular open systems approach, the program seeks to expedite development while reducing costs and maintaining the ability for future upgrades. The concept of nuclear-armed sea-launched cruise missiles is not new. In the 1980s, the U.S. Navy deployed the TLAMN, a nuclear variant of the Tomahawk land attack missile, capable of a 2,500-kilometer range. These missiles provided a tactical nuclear deterrent aboard surface ships and attack submarines. However, in 1991, President George H.W. Bush announced the withdrawal of sea-based tactical nuclear weapons, leading to the retirement of the TLAMN by 2013 under the Obama administration. The SLCMN program was reintroduced in the 2018 Nuclear Posture Review NPR, under the Trump administration, emphasizing the need for flexible low-yield nuclear options to counter regional threats and reassure allies. Despite initial resistance, including a recommendation to cancel the program in the 2022 NPR, Congress continued to fund its development. The fiscal year 2024 National Defense Authorization Act reinforced the importance of the SLCMN, mandating the executive branch to ensure its initial operational capability. Advocates for the SLCMN highlight its value as a flexible survivable nuclear option that avoids the need for forward-basing nuclear assets in allied territories. The missile's deployment aboard Virginia-class submarines ensures mobility and concealment, enhancing its deterrent effect against adversaries. By providing a proportional response capability, the SLCMN addresses the evolving security landscape and bolsters the U.S. commitment to global and regional stability. As the program advances, the U.S. Navy's emphasis on leveraging mature technologies and modular designs could set a new benchmark for the rapid and cost-effective development of critical defense capabilities. The SLCMN not only fills a strategic gap but also reinforces the Navy's ability to adapt to emerging challenges while maintaining the credibility of its nuclear arsenal. With prototype demonstrations expected within three years and operational deployment by 2034, the SLCMN stands as a testament to the United States' commitment to maintaining a robust and adaptable nuclear deterrent strategy.